In the previous video, we gathered user input and passed this as a variable in the URL to a receiving page. Now we want to learn how to pass variables without their appearing in the URL. This is done by using the PHP superglobal $_post instead of $_get. We start by gathering the data from the user, usually in an HTML form, and we specify in the opening form tag both the action, which is the page the browser will be taken to when the submit button is clicked, and the method, which is either get as before, or post, if we do not want the data submitted to appear in the URL. Then in the receiving page we use $_post instead of $_get and assign the value of $_post to a variable in exactly the same way as before. Let's put this into practice. In the PHP Demos folder create a new text document and name it form.php. In Komodo Edit type in opening and closing HTML form tags. Between the form tags, type in input type equals text name equals content, and load the page in your browser. You'll see a familiar input box, just like we see on websites like Google, which take and process user input. Input tells the browser that this will accept input from the user. Type equals text tells it that it's a text input box. The name is important as this must correspond to the variable name used on the accepting page. So that's content. And no dollar sign is used here. So far we haven't got a submit button for the user to click on. So we'll make this using the HTML5 button tag. With button type equals submit and then inside the button tags the word submit, the text which will appear on the button. We need to set the action of the form with action equals and the page to be taken to when the button's clicked. Instead of sending the data to a new page as we did last time, I'll demonstrate that we can send the page back to itself with the data and reload the same page. So put form.php as the action of the form. Finally, we need to specify the method to be used to send the data. It's either get or post. We're using post. Now this time we're sending the data back to this same page for processing, so we need the receiving part of the script as well. Above the form, between PHP tags, enter dollar underscore post, and then in the square brackets and the single quotes, content, because content is the name of the input in the form. And assign the value of this to the variable dollar content. Then Below the form at the bottom of the file, put in a couple of line breaks, ordinary HTML now, gone out of the PHP, and type inside uh, paragraph tags the content you entered was, and then opening PHP tag echo dollar content, and then the closing semicolon, and then close off the PHP tags. So this time we've done what we learnt about earlier, an embedded PHP in HTML rather than the other way round. Save form.php and load it up in your browser. The first time it runs you should get an error message because content has not been defined yet, but if you put in something in the input box, type in, I've, I've typed in QWERTY, then the error message should clear and you get the confirmation message that we want. Obviously this wouldn't be suitable for a finished product, we don't want an error message appearing the first time a page loads, but from the point of view, just at the moment of having some very simple code for you to learn the get and the post methods of passing variables and keep this in your PHP demos folder, this is some very simple code which serves that purpose. This method of passing variables is more suitable for sending data which we wouldn't want to be publicly displayed in the URL. As you can see, it's not suitable for pages which we want to have a URL for, so that we can bookmark them. Any trouble with that, and the files are in the working files, as always.